Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 6. Let's go ahead and talk to Lord British. You see the noble ruler of Britannia. Helmandretta, tis good to see thee again. Much hath happened since thou last departed our realm. But I must make sure tis truly thee. Only the true avatar would know what was contained in the compendium I sent. Because you might be a gargoyle in disguise. They are tricksy and have illusionary powers. And are doppelgangers. Yes, yes, that's true. Believe me. No, actually, this is just copy protection. Where hath images of the silver serpent been seen? Uh, tomb walls. What creature art wisps oft mistaken for? Fireflies? Really? What art reapers remnants of? Uh, that is enchanted forest. Ah, tis thee indeed, Elmandretta. Take this key. It will unlock the gatehouse by the southern entrance to the castle. Then you can use the lever inside to raise the portcullis, and the crank will lower the drawbridge. The same key will also let you into the sewers under the castle. Now let me tell thee what hath transpired since thy last visit. The vast underworld from which thou didst rescue me hath collapsed. Luckily, it didn't cause any damage up here. Ha ha ha! We are safe. Yet still there are forces of evil abroad in the land. Britannia is under attack by gargoyles such as thou, such as those thou just fought. They have been coming up through the dungeons. Thus far, they have mainly been attacking the shrines of the Eight Virtues. When the Shrine of Compassion didst fall, Sir Geoffrey sent a party to free it. Do thou ask him of this mission, perhaps thou canst prove of some assistance. Whilst thou art here, I have a room in the castle set aside for thy personal use. Thank you, for once someone does something like that for us. Tis in the west wing of the castle, just south of mine own chambers. Oh good god, that's why you set me up with one. Ah, I hope it has a lock. I have had my servants place some equipment there, in case thou shouldst have need of it. Of course, thou mayst free... Feel free to borrow anything in my castle if thou shouldst need it. Oh yes, I will be borrowing. I will be borrowing a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Lastly, any time thou dost need healing, do thou but do thou but ask me. If thou dost wish me to repeat all this later, thou need but ask. Yeah, <laughs> no. I think I'm good there. I will take some healing though. Uh, what about the shrines? By now the gargoyles may have captured them all. Thou must hurry if thou wouldst foil their evil schemes. What about the virtues? Stay strong in thy commitment to the eight virtues. Theft, more theft, even more theft, Iolo th thievery. Um, yelling at Iolo. Um, I can't remember what the others are. Oh, more theft, yet more theft, and still more theft. Thank you, got it. It is our belief in them that sets us apart from the cruel invaders who would destroy all that we hold dear, because why would anyone else have anything akin to our virtues? Um, what about the runes? Do you have the runes? I, I did leave them here, didn't I? Ask the leaders of each town to tell thee of that. Oh, crap. What about the mantras? Do you know them? Thanks. Alright, uh, anything else that I can ask you about? Uh, oh, you want you mentioned Jeffrey. He's the captain of the guard! Gee, thanks. Alright. May fortune favor thee. Hey, Jeffrey. You see a tall, handsome man. I'm glad to see thee, Elmandretta. Perhaps thou canst prevail where others could not. I sent a party of ten to recapture the Shrine of Compassion from the gargoyles, but they were all pissy little first-level fighters, armed with naught but daggers. They failed. Alas, they failed dismally. See? I told you. The survivors are recuperating in the town of Cove. Thou wouldst do well to speak with them first. Mayhap they learned something which might aid thee. I must confess I fear the worst. The gargoyles are such powerful foes, and they are spreading so fast. Perhaps the end of the realm is nigh. Yes, 
because we could not possibly stand against these gargoyles the way we stood against the Shadow Lords or Blackthorn's tyranny. Those were far, far, far crappier uh, evils and, and weaker opponents than these gargoyles that we've encountered so far. Good luck and my prayers go with thee. Hey, how about you? You see a concerned looking mage. Hail to thee, my lady, and well met. "'Twas I who learned of thy peril through my mystic arts, so that aid might be sent unto thee. Iolo, I saw that thou didst find a book. Might I examine it? "'Certainly, my lord. Perhaps thou canst make better sense of it than I. "'Strange. This has a picture on its cover of a gargoyle standing with one foot on the chest of a slain human. "'Tis like the compendium, but opposite. What could it possibly mean? It is probably meaningless.' This is interesting. Well, okay, I lied before. It's written in a language I know not. Take it to Maria at the Lycaeum, the finest scribe on the Great Council of Wizards. I think we know who Maria is. Although apparently it's pronounced Mariah. I'm going to stick with Maria. She has studied many languages, and perhaps she can decipher this book for thee. One more thing, Avatar. I noticed that thou didst arrive through a red gateway. Dost thou have the stone that opened the gate? Yes, I do. From whence could it have come? The gargoyles, perhaps? Best ask Lord British about it. I believe he has some knowledge of such things. Oh, okay. Why didn't you mention it? You saw the red gateway. You see the noble ruler of Britannia. Oh, yeah, I've read that again already, haven't I? Orb, you show Lord British the black stone. Hmm, I have such a stone as thou may recall. I did not know there, there were more such orbs. Twill serve thee well in thy travels if thou dost learn to master its powers. To open a gate, use the stone and carefully position it a few feet from thee. Thou wilt discover that the placement is the key. In the proper positions, the stone canst conjure gates to take thee to numerous destinations. May fortune favor thee. Okay. That's pretty cool, actually. That is right there. Uh, you'll notice that the equipment that I've got is a little bit different. Um, I was not happy with how my recordings were going, so I uh, kind of restarted. Let's take a look at this. This is a very fancy portrait of you. And at the bottom of the pl frame, a small plaque reads simply, The Avatar. This portrait is signed Woodruff in the lower right-hand corner. I hope it's a good likeness. Well, let's go over here. Ooh. Food. Take that. Take that. Hubert's Hair Raising Adventure. Oh, good God, no. Not reading that. 8.27 a.m., huh? Don't need boots. Can we use that? Yes, we can. Ooh, nice. I will uh, <laughs> borrow those. Let's see if I can use this key here. No effect. Okay. All right. Um, I have to figure out how to unlock that at some point. That's locked. I guess I'll try the key in a second. This painting is by the renowned artist Helen Garriott. Really? Helen Garriott, eh? This is a painting by the famous Captain Fox. Alright, let's go ahead and try this key here. Alright. What do we got here? Alright, we'll look at it then. The scroll is filled with Lord British's notes on his astronomical observations. Let's take a look during the day. Alright, telescopes like this basically uh, operate like... Uh, um, Oops, I doused the candle. Um, a wizard eye spell. You can look in certain directions like that for a limited period of time. It's pretty handy, actually. Ooh, I saw a cannon. I see a house. Let's look over this way. I see someone in the kitchen with Dinah. Ah, no. Sorry. I see a storeroom and someone near a forge stuff. And apparently I got an email. 
All right. Well, unfortunately, we can't take it. If we can move it. Uh, if you hit one, you get into solo mode, which is pretty handy for uh, doing stuff like that. Nope, can't move it. Shucks. Go back and do a party mode by hitting zero. And here is our room. Thought I'll see a spell book. It weighs 1.5 stones. I will yoink that so hard. I'll also uh, yoink that. Um, let's go ahead and use that. Ooh, stuff. Let's get the stuff. Alright, first of all, um, I don't need that. Let's go ahead and drop it over there. Oh no, is it broke? Um, we've got some uh, reagents. We've got reagents in both those bags, so we definitely don't need that. Fortunately, gotta manually move them. out of the bag. Of course, now I gotta get them in. back into the other bag. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and drop that right there. And I believe if I drop these on the bag, This way, a little bit easier. And I don't need to use a mouse either. Alright, let's go ahead and equip some of this uh, some of these pieces of equipment that we got. Um go ahead and get that back as well. So now we've got a fair amount of reagents, and we've got an empty bag. Let's go ahead and put these potions in the bag. And we'll give the bag, oh, I guess we'll give it to uh, Shmino. Alright, I'm keeping these uh, boomerangs for now. I can get rid of the uh, club at some point. Um, might be able to sell it. Uh, torches, someone has torches, don't they? You do. Um, let's actually hand the torches to Shmino. And go ahead and hand these torches to Shmino as well. Get them out of my inventory. Alright, Dupre, let's go ahead and drop that. Whoops, I actually did not mean to uh, break it, but okay. I don't need any of those. Got some money. That's handy. And... Do you have anything you don't? Well, actually, no, you do. Now let's go ahead and drop the mug right there. And we'll drop the mead right there. I don't need any of that. Alright, we've got... A knife. We've got honey. Mmm, honey. Mmm, cake. Three lo loaves of bread. They weigh 0.9 stone. That is quite a bit of weight. Two portions of meat that weigh 0.5 stone. That is also quite a bit of weight. Alright. But, now there's something that we really want to do here. Um least over the course of uh, time, and that is get a lot of uh, chests and crates into that room. First of all, let's go ahead and uh, break a lockpick. 
Thank you. Go ahead and get that. Let's take a look inside of it. Ow. That, that wasn't quite what I was hoping for. I forgot that it might be trapped. <sighs> well. Um, let's go ahead and move these out of the bag. Stupid Lord British with a trapped chest in his room. Go ahead and equip that. There we go. A little bit more protection for you that, there, Iola. At least it didn't do a whole lot of damage. Alright, now I also want to... Uh, actually... Let's move that crate. Yeah, I can't get the crate, unfortunately. Unfortunately, moving items like this is kind of tedious. So there's a fair amount of, a uh, fair number of chests and crates in here uh, in the castle, so it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and drop this crate right there. Okay. Alright, party mode, guys. Let's take a look in this room. Because, of course, first thing we have to do is completely loot Lord British's castle. Let's take a look at this picture. Oh, hell and Gary. Get another chest. Hopefully it's not trapped like the other ones were, or the other one was. It is not. Let's take a look at this. If you're looking for the clue, there's something for you under a plant in Serpent's Hold. Well, that's, that's handy, I guess. Get some money. It's also handy. Lightning wand. Take that out. Um. Put that down. You can you can hold the, the scroll for now, Dupre. Drop the uh, chest right there. some money in there. That's handy. What do we have down here? Once we're done looting uh, Lord British's castle, uh, we're definitely going to be... Uh, um, that picture doesn't say anything. Uh, doing the very first thing you should always do in an Ultimate game, and that is break the game. <laughs> but uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um... You can use um, crystal balls, enter degrees, followed by north, south, east, or west. At latitude, how about zero? I wonder if that'll work. Okay. Maybe not. Zero? No. One north. Let's go with 60 east. That's just water. But I think we can move this around a bit until we escape. Okay. How about... One north... 60... West. Alrighty. No. What? One north... 30 west. Yeah, you can move it around like this. So if you have a, um, if you know, all right, if you know a, uh, um, exact position of something, you can, uh, uh, get a peek inside buildings and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. And look, potions! Hey, Shimino. Thank you. Let's go ahead and move these into the bag. Alright, uh, yellow ones heal, red ones, uh, um, cure poison, blue I believe is sleep, 
Uh, green is poison. Orange is awaken. Black is invisibility. White is either light or x-ray. And I really can't remember what purple is. Let's see if I can... It says in here. Let's see. Oh, no, no. Blue one's awaken. Orange ones put you to sleep. Purple gives you protection. And white is x-ray. Okay. Good to know. And yes, I know that I missed someone that I can talk to. Um, I'm not going to talk to them. Get out of my way. They're fine. You see a carefree fellow in a ludicrous costume. Ho, oh, yo, he hum, I've got a clue. It's important and just for you. What is your name? Why, I'm Chuckles the Jester, of course. You've heard of me, haven't you? Sure you have. I hate you, Chuckles. Jester. Have you heard the one about the nun, the dragon, and the drunken penguin? Yes. Good, maybe you can teach it to me someday. No. Ho, ho, he, he, thou art funnier than me. To ask a jester of no. Die, please. All right, fine. Get out of my way. I did my best. Did I amuse you? If not, I hope I did confuse you. Did you enjoy my jokes? No. Really? I'll just have to try harder then. Why is Dupre like a horseshoe? Death is coming for you, Chuckles. Does that count? It's because they both have the letter R in them. What do you think of that one? Terrible. Well, who asked you anyway? Oh, well, that's right, I did. Hee hee ho ho. To spread good cheer, I go. Come talk to me again, and I'll give you another show. Oh, good God, no. Get out of my way. I hate you, Chuckles. Can we look in there? Ooh. Yoink. How about... Uh, I don't think we need any of that. I don't, don't think we need that. Okay. Well. Let's go ahead and use the lockpick on this door. And unlock it. Handy. Nothing much good there. But we'll go ahead and take it. I can sell it. We will be needing, needing some money. I don't need any of that. But I will want to, uh, um... Move some of those, uh, uh pieces of equipment, from some of those crates and barrels into, uh, our room shortly. Yay, a cannon! And there's a reason that I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with the cannon a bit, too. Um, let's see if there's anything else that I need to do with any of the equipment that I've picked up. Not really. Alright. Well, we finished looting Lord British's castle. I'm not going to go down into the uh, um, sewers there just yet. Um, actually, no, we haven't quite finished looting the castle. There's still one more room to go. And another person to talk to. Then we'll call it an episode. Ah, uh, looting Lord British's castle. It is such a lengthy endeavor. Hello! You see a bare-chested, muscular man, his body gleaming with sweat. What is your name? Excuse me a moment. He pulls a napkin from his belt and mops at his brow. Now, what were you saying? Name. Wait a minute. He interrupts. I recognize you. You're the Avatar. I've always wanted to meet you. Oh, good God, a fanboy. From the day I first saw your portrait, I knew you must be the most beautiful woman in all Britannia. Oh, good God, not just a fanboy, a stalker. What is your job here? I cook for all those who live in the castle, and for any guests who dine with Lord British as well. Tis satisfying work, yet at times I wish I could travel with one such as you. No, no. What is this about travel? I shouldn't even speak of such things. After all, you are the Avatar, and I... But a lowly cook, please forgive me. No. 
I mean, it doesn't really have much interesting to say. I just wanted to uh, give you the joys of uh, encountering a fanboy. He's not the only one we'll encounter. Let's go ahead and get some of this food. Jeez. Alrighty. Oh, hey, I think there's some new people here. You see a slender woman wearing a leather glove on her left hand. Hello and welcome, my lady. Welcome. Are you like the castle greeter? What's your name? My name is Kitten. She smiles. Perhaps that explains why I like birds. Okay, again, her name is actually supposed to be pronounced Kitten, but that doesn't make sense. Birds? I used to be a falconer. Falconer? That was before Lord British appointed me to my current position. What, Castle Greeter? A true gentleman, if ever I saw one. What is your job, anyway? I'm the curator of the Royal Museum of Oddities. Oddities? I can tell you all... I can tell you more about any of the exhibits if you're interested. What about museum? It's just one of the projects Lord British has funded to provide a better life for his people. Projects? He's funded projects? He also established the conservatory that, share the that shares the building with the museum. The roads that span the realm are his doing as well. Well, th those have been here for a while. Travel is much easier these days. Travel? That's for sure. What? Oh, whatever. Exhibits. We have the monolith, the energy field, the perpetual motion machine, the bones of Zog, the mystery fountain, and the dragon's head, wings, and egg. Which one were you curious about? Um... Machine. That's a very curious device. The motion of each gear turns another until, the event, until eventually the movement is propagated back to the same gear again. There's one thing I can't figure out. We've made plans of the device, and I can't see how they started it moving in the first place. None of the gears would turn unless all the others were already going. What's worse, the motions served to hold the machine together. If the gears were still, the whole thing would fall apart. How it was built is quite a mystery. That also makes me wonder how it's moved. But I won't talk to you any about any of the other stuff. Be sure to have a look at our paintings while you're here, and come again soon. We're expecting some unicorn horns and a Klein bottle from Trinsic. We're not even in the museum. Whatever. Crazy people. Oh, let's look at the pictures. That's another one by Helen Garriott. This painting bears the signature of the well-known artist Musgrave. I don't see a tapestry. Tapestry? We have no tapestries. Also... Searching here, you find a scroll. Let's take a look at that scroll. Ho, he, oh, he, hum. You've won, you've won. Go to Aiello's hut. And ask Smith the horse to tell you the clue. I don't trust that. I do not trust that. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and call it an episode. We'll pick it up in the next one as we continue to uh, explore Britannia in Ultima 6. See you then.